Oh, I'm telling you right now, that's the call to a million warriors. My friend, it's football season, and since that glorious night that we saw Deshaun Watson roll out to his right and throw the ball to a boy that was a walk-on from soccer somewhere, South Carolina, he caught the ball, he took a hit, but he held on to the ball like a fireman rescuing a cat out of Miss Wilkerson's tree down here. I hate that cat. Puts paw prints all over my, all over my freshly washed truck. But anyway, enough about that cat. And freeze won't kill it. And I've just tried to move on. With that said, today the Tigers open up. They step up to the hill. Dabo Swinney points down to the masses. They all look at him. He's jacked up like a cocaine addict who just smoked some meth. He's going to point down at the Kent State. I found out they called the Golden Flashes. I was calling them the terrorist. Sue me. I didn't know. I don't keep up with Kent State football. I did call them an icer name the other day when I called them the Blue Bonnets. He's going to point down at them, and they're going to know what's coming. A big old country, industrial size, crack the top off, butt whooping. And they're going to beg God that the dam over there at uh, uh, Lake Hartwell will bust right open and swallow them whole. I predict 55 to 7, Tigers. I know, I'm just being nice just in case Kent State does, does score a touchdown and Clemson comes out a, a playing flat. I'm just jacked up. So let's go over some of the high points of this game. Our defense is absolutely ridiculous. I sat and watched all the suit and ties on the college game day this morning, and they said the defense was absolutely ridiculous. But they're too busy talking about LSU, and they're too busy talking about Florida and Michigan. You know, let me go ahead and throw this in there, and I know this is my pregame to a Clemson game, but let me throw this in there. Last time I checked, when you lost 10 players, and some of them being really important, you're going to lose the game. I don't care if it's played out on, on turf. Like some people, they're like, oh, Florida's going to win it because they were on turf. This will show you my sports knowledge. Go back to 1995 when Nebraska was going to play Florida in the national championship. What did everybody say? Nebraska plays on turf all the time. This game's on grass. They're definitely losing that game. And then 62 to 20 later, yeah, yeah, Florida got their tail handed to them. But I'm telling you this. I don't care if you're playing it on one of those conveyor belts. It, you know, you get on at the at the uh, airport and it helps you shoot down past everybody. I don't care if, if Florida's playing on that. They're losing this game. Like it, love it. It's not personal. Don't make this personal. Everybody makes it personal when you say they're going to lose. It's like, it's like you know, you go up and walk up and touch the wife on their butt up in the Walmart. I ain't doing that. All I'm telling you is your team, who you think is going to win. Is going to lose because it's not logical. It's not logical. Clemson's going to go out there today and beat the living blue off of Kent State's uh, 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 uniforms because they're just a better team. This ain't personal. It wasn't personal when I messed up and called Kent State the terrorist. It ain't personal. I, I thought that was possibly their name. <sighs> Bobby here getting thirsty and worked up. So the big points today, there is no more to Sean Watson. He's off down at Houston, and our hearts go out to those people where everything's going on with them. They got one heck of a quarterback who will play second string this year, and hey, I think he should hold a clipboard his first year. You know why? Because I think it's unfair to set that much responsibility on a guy like him who's fantastic and could probably handle it, on his back. It's unfair. Let him get acclimated to the game. One thing they did to Aaron Rodgers, I have to agree with. They they let him sit there. Today, we have Kelly Bryant, and he's our starting quarterback. And they say that they're going to run the ball more. And we know he's a really good runner. He's a big dude. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. The next thing I'm looking forward to seeing is a running back. So Jay Fuller's going to be playing for us from easily South Kakalaki. He gets good fried chicken down there. And you go up to Spartanburg, and as long as you don't get shot, you can see some good football up there. Uh, Travis, uh, 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 Tavian Feaster. I'm going to call him Travis. Anyway, that's his redneck name. Tavian Feaster will be playing running back as well. Adam Choice, fantastic running back. Really good player and a hard hitter. He'll be playing some. 
And then we got that young man out of LS, uh, out of the LSU area. I don't know how to say his name. Antoninini? Anyway, I hear he's a monster to bring down. We're pulling for you, Antoninini. We know the defense is fantastic. We know the offense has a lot of talent. And we know that offensive line is just ready to open up an industrial size. Just pop the top open. You can hear it crackle. <laughs> top butt whooping on the terrorist and on anybody else they're playing. Well, the game's about to kick off, and I don't know about you, but I'm about to go watch it. It's Bobby Durkin saying Clemson 55-7. to 7. Go Tigers.